But get the camera. Jean's unconscious. Get around to the other door and help me get her out. Oh, Jay, your head. Get my head. Just help me with Jean. Hurry up! Hurry up! Unfasten the seat. Come around to the side. Jay, there's a, a gas leak under the wing. The plane could explode. No. I won't explode. Jean is in a coma. We have to keep her warm. Keep Jean warm. You, uh, you stay here with her, and I'll get her jacket. Oh, my God, your feet. Jean, can you hear me? You think we ought to clear the blood out of her mouth and nose so she can breathe? No. Oh. Her passages are clear. My... My stomach heard something fierce. I think I gouged it on the seatbelt. Sorry about 
of oxygen up here. That's what it is. That's why we have so much trouble moving. Well, they're used to it. In a while. If you can move your fingers, does it mean that your arm isn't broken? No. No, not necessarily. Jean! Jean! Why still? Jean! Tango, down on the Sierra Crest at Kearsarge Pass, six to eight miles north of Mount Whitney, May Day. May Day, May Day. Anyone? Please? May Day. This is Cessna's... Seven, 735 Papa Tango, down at the Kearsarge Pass, Mount Bradley, north of Mount Whitney. Please, anyone, please. anything about Jean. Won't do any good. Hey, we've got to try and radio again. They have to keep trying. The emergency locator transmitter in the tail of the aircraft comes on automatically on impact. It has its own power source. It sends out a signal so a search party can find us even without a, a sighting. Search party? <sighs> My God, of course. When? When do you think? Well, not this afternoon, that's for sure. When's your daughter expected back? She won't start wondering where I am until around dinner time. I don't usually get home from the clinic until dinner time. I mean. She doesn't know you went flying today. She doesn't know we're even out here? I don't know. I'm not sure. Jimmy expects me home around 6. I don't know how long he'll wait before he gets worried. Or what he'll do. I think I may have left the name of the woman who found our cat, the woman in Furnace Creek, on that piece of paper on my desk. Maybe, uh, maybe Carl will find it. You're not sure if she even knows you went to get the cat? No, I'm not sure. I'm 
Pacchio. Dad isn't home yet. Did you go flying with him today? No, Carol, I had to work, but Lauren went. They're a little late. I guess they got delayed. I'm kind of worried. Dad's late sometimes, but not this late. He would have called. We have a rule. Well, they're probably just landing now. Listen, I'll get on the phone and check into it. You sit tight and I'll call you right back, OK? OK. OK, bye-bye, Carol. Bye, Jimmy. Airport. Uh, I wonder if you could help me. A small private plane may be overdue there, and uh, is there somewhere there, someone there I could talk to uh, who could uh, tell me about it? Thank you. Thank you very much. Kaminsky. Now overdue. Tall, lanky guy with dark hair. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. He came in just as I was coming to work. Uh, he didn't file a flight plan. Is that unusual? No. But uh, it didn't require it. See, first thing we got to know is the kind of aircraft he's flying and its number. Uh, that's essential information. It's the Cal Flying Club. But I don't suppose anybody's there right now. Hmm. Well, listen, uh, that hangar's right down the line from here. Uh, I'll go see what I can find. Uh, give me your number. I'll call you back. And... Oh, I'd really appreciate that. Yeah, I think we should try and get down. There are a few more hours of daylight. It's still kind of warm. Before it gets cold. No, we should stay with the aircraft. That's the rule. <laughs> 